down the road. Hello, neighbor. Hello, friend. Here we are on the road again. Tonight, we visit a Nova Scotia couple who have an entire island to themselves. You look after all of this? In Alberta, we meet a man who's surrounded himself with some very familiar faces. I'm working on John Kennedy and Lucille Ball. And in Ontario, we go underground with a teacher who's botty about butts. They don't come in and rip your head off. don't always do ordinary things you'd expect them to. They can be a little strange, be a little crazy, sometimes just downright different. You only have one kick in the can, so you leave your mark any way you can. I guess that's why people do the darndest things. Robert Gross of Saskatoon is a self-confessed workshop aholic. That's my little nook, yeah. You know, it's my world, and my thoughts, and everything I, I want to do is there. Robert loves to take bits and pieces of junk, metal, wood, plastic, it doesn't matter what, and make things. He's fiddled with everything from steam-powered cars to, well, homemade fiddles. But all of these projects were really just a dress rehearsal for what was coming next. How would you describe this thing? Uh, well, do you uh, eat a lot of beans? Do we eat a lot of beans? What has beans got to do with it? <laughs> oh, not again. Rob's whole family was called upon to help in the creation of what he hoped would be yeah, his masterpiece. Well, keep them coming. I can need all you can get. Mom, some more beans for you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> this is Rob's wife, Joyce, and his sons, Rob Jr. Anybody for some pineapple juice? Oh. Dave and Brian. Thank you, big guy. For his masterpiece, Rob would need tin cans, garden hose, uh, more tin cans, sewer pipe, uh, yes, more of these, some old accordion keys. We've got dessert tonight, guys. Afraid so. And metal and wooden pipes, all carefully cut to size, fitted out with whistles and tuned. C sharp. No, F sharp. F sharp. Throw in a fan from an old computer, a ventilator duct from a long gone dryer, a few more tin cans, and as a final touch, a decorative front panel. The end result the culmination of a lifelong interest in music and mechanics is a 62 pipe pipe organ. Wow, <laughs> what a neat contraption, and it sounds like an organ. Yeah, that's a surprising part. I didn't really know what it would sound like. The best thing about Rob's masterpiece is that the whole family helped in its creation. 
The worst thing? Well, Rob intends to add more pipes. I want to enlarge it. This should be double this size. You're going to add more cans and garden hose? More cans. And the kids have to get used to eating more beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the sound of that. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Life is what you make it. Now, aren't you glad that Robert builds the darn things? <laughs> Supper! Oh, supper. Yep. What are we having? Beans, of course. Oh, naturally. 